everyone, and welcome to another super exciting edition of C4. I'm once again joined by... First story, please. Oh, the sun is burning us all here in China. How hot is it elsewhere in China, though? Uh, it's ranging from around 35 to 38, 40 degrees Celsius. Burn! Burn! Okay, what are they doing in places? They're cooking food on the floor. On the floor? That's dirty. Where were they doing this? Well, in Shanghai, in People's Square, uh, they cook some pork. Let's have a look. I do believe that video was shot in the Arab world. No, it was so hot it was in Shanghai. Shanghai, eh? And it was shot by a journalist. It was, to show how hot uh, it's getting. It burns! It's quite popular as well, and other reporters have tried to emulate it, such as one CCTV reporter, CCTV. who was wearing shorts, who went to Xu Jiahui metro station and tried to cook an egg. egg. Oh, unsuccessful, wasn't he, Stuart Wiggins? Was. But I've been on CRIEnglish.com. CRIEnglish.com! Which is our website, Stuart Wiggin. And it says the egg was half cooked. Does that mean it was successful or not successful? Who's to be believed? I don't know. We're going to have to try it for ourselves. To the car park! Is it ready? It's frozen. Well, you did say that you wanted cold noodles. <laughs> 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 it's a bit hot. Let's go back inside. Yeah. Did you enjoy your noodles, Stuart Wiggin? Mmm, tepid. And slimy. Next story, please. Skyscrapers! Shooting out of the earth! But where? In Shanghai, Pudong District, it's the Shanghai Tower, and it's the tallest building in China. And they recently laid the last, uh, what you call, what's it called, the pillar? They've topped out with a girder! A girder, that's girder. it! Girder! Shall we have a look at the girder? Go on then. Girder. What a great photo of that girder, Stuart. When I see a girder, I need a snapshot. Yeah. What about you? Girders. Girder, okay. But Pudong, that area, over the last 20 years, like all these buildings just poop, 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 they've shot up. That's true, over the last 20 years it has been rapidly transformed. We've actually got before and after photos. Do you want to have a look? I want to see! Do you know what, Stuart? I recently went up and had a look at the top of the tower. Oh, nice. Did you go at the, uh, the Jin Mao Tower? Did you pay 150 quid to go right up to well, the top? Well, there's three towers. There's the Jin Mao, which is the smallest, the middle one, and then the big one. That's, nah, they just topped it out with the girder. The girder. I actually went up the middle tower by following in a bunch of businessmen who were going up to the hotel at the top. I got in for free. I paid nothing. <laughs> well, do you want to see me up there? Okay. So you just looked out the window of someone's office? Until I was asked to leave. Next story, please. Stewardesses fighting round the world! Ah, Stuart, look out! What's going on? <laughs> They're not actually fighting. They're having Wing Chun lessons, which is uh, the discipline of martial arts that Bruce Lee was very good at. Ooh. Do you know why they're having lessons? Because dirty boys like you go on aeroplanes and grab their buttocks from behind! Well, not really. There's been lots of delays, as always, and people are getting quite, you know, antsy. So let's have a look at them taking the class. Stuart, I was just thinking that our producer has probably been doing some of these martial arts classes. Because the other day I went to speak to her because there was a problem with the show. It wasn't funny. And do you know what she did? What? Laid me out! We need to fire Stuart from the show. He's like, oh! The exact same thing happened to me too. You deserve it. Uh, I'm just thinking about this thing here. I think... <laughs> well, Stuart, I'm definitely going to think twice about flying Hong Kong Airlines in future. Is that because she can't touch the stewardesses? No! Really? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. Next story. Please. Plastic. Fantastic. What am I talking about? This is the news that more Chinese students or recent graduates are going under the knife in the hope of improving their job prospects. Oh, okay. Have we got an article about it on our website? CRIEnglish.com! We have. Let's check it out. A growing number of young Chinese are undergoing plastic surgery during their summer vacations. Well, Stuart, that pretty much just repeats what we've heard already. Have you got no novel information from CRIEnglish.com? Yes, I do. Uh, one particular hospital, called Zhongda Hospital, had some 200, 200? facial surgery applicants uh, the week ending July 31st, 70% of which were students. 70%?! And one student, called Ting Ting, who recently had a nose job, 
Uh, she had this to say. One. The rhinoplasty makes me look more European. It will make my future work and life in Europe easier. Apparently her life in Europe is already easy, but she wants to make it easier. So she had a nose job. Yeah, nose job. Nose job at home. Anyway, didn't we have something done? Well, I know you did, didn't I you? I did. I used to look like this. And now, Stuart, this is me after countless operations and a lot of money, which I have, and you don't. Since I'm sitting here, Stuart, we didn't need to go to a photo of me now. Yes. Anything to add? Money well spent. Okay. Anyway, if you want to write in, the email address is down here. What about the way, boy? Okay, and we'll see you again next week for more C4. Bye for now. Boo! <laughs>